Good morning, good morning. Welcome to my channel. We're at the day four of the 100 day project, guys. I'm getting excited because bit by bit we're getting through this. And I thought I'd just pick out a background page from a digital kit that I have used, but I haven't used all the pages and I actually printed on the wrong paper. Anyway, we'll put that aside for a minute. We're going to signature four. Because I'm so, what I'm going to be doing is giving you some tips um, each time with one of my, we'll show a journal, a signature a day of each journal I might have made, you know, that I've got, I've got lots. So, what you'll notice in my signatures, when I do a chunky monkey like this, with a lot of pages in my signatures, um, I will leave a lot of room. Now, if, for instance, I wanted to make a 12-signature journal, I wouldn't be doing that. I would be reducing my pages, right, and reducing that to probably, I'm estimating, a centimetre between each um, signature. But, I mean, yeah, in between each... <laughs> In between each signature. I think it's a centimetre. Anyway. Um, so, you wouldn't have such a big roomy part. But you need this room if you don't want to have a chunky monkey that's going to be going left, right and centre. You know what I mean? Where it's going to be like this instead of folding up like a book like this one is. But anyway, we'll go on and I'll show you. This is... French lace. I oh, just love it, guys. Absolutely love it. See, I haven't done nothing there. I just haven't. Um, but there's another tag. I love these tags, and I make them quite a bit. There's um, coffee stain paper, which I don't recommend putting photos on unless you've got the right HP. Is it HP levels? Yeah. So using a bit of baking powder, but I don't know how to measure the HP levels unless you've got one of those dippy sticks that shows the HP. So I don't make recommendations for photos because I reckon over time, even though this is a digital, um, that should be fine, but a photo would fade out. Um, this is just... Um, A taggy, um, a lot of pockets. And I've just made little flippy adders. Um, I think it was a journal kit from, um, I know her name, I think it's Pam. But anyway, I just can't remember who she is. And this is a way of decorating your tags. You know, doing a bit of sewing, doing a few words, a little pin. Aren't they cute? Just simple. Just quick, simple decorations. And then um, here, instead of um, sewing that side completely down, before you stick it down, you sew them separately. And then you have got in here a pocket. And it's a little hidey spot. I think I've got something in there, have I? Yeah, I have. I have. Look, guys, antique ephemera. So you in hide stuff. Look cute. So yeah, just little ideas that you can do bits and pieces. Decorate your pockets. Make little ones. That's a little pocket. I just think this book is magic. You know, it's got a lot of ideas. It's got a big baggie there that's not decorated. Vintage pages. Um, vintage cards. Look at those. So old, guys. Vintage postcard that is written on. Um, don't ask me to read the writing because it's in another language. And it'd be 100 years old. Again, I cut out a fabric pocket. Like, you don't necessarily have to chunk a journal up. Look at these. I've been meaning to photocopy these. Um, the morning prayer. 
it's gone on that. Oh, I've got my glasses on. But anyway, look how cute it is. This, um, this is an Easter card. And these are the, the 60s. And it opens up. Anyway, I won't bother doing that. Vintage maps. Um, some ledger. Um, book pages from the 1800. It's so... It's like a fabric. I love it. I love how it feels. More digital. This one, um, I haven't done much to it, as you can see. But what I've done is plenty for me. And what I've done here, when you've got a really long page, guys, flip it up. And look at that. Oh, I'll see if I can. It's a heavy book. Let's see? So you flip it up and put it back up. This is a beautiful page. I love it. And I wasn't going to um, do away with it. So long pages can be pulled up, but they need to be put in the centre. Anyway, and I used fabric to reinforce around the spine area. That is see-through. So you can actually see the picture. So just thin Thin fabric. Another one of those um, bubbles. Digital kits, book pages. Again, that thin fabric so you can read the. the stuff. Another vintage dear baby cards. Oh, I love these. It's not written on, but I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I do. Have your little clips to clip in. Another flippy outer. Go and visit um, chapter one. Oh my golly, their papers are gorgeous. And then this is all the ephemera in there, you know, like really, really cute. I don't know what this is, but I love it. And the date is 1912 on that one. Bell, Dukes, and Husband. I don't know what it is. I think it's some sort of title, you know, transfer a title or something. Oh, de deed quick claim. So it might be, you know, getting a title to their property or whatever. But there's that old card. That's third, 30th of the 12th, 14. This is an inv what used to be, um, I don't know what it used to be. Some sort of card they used, some vintage ephemera. And I've just made a pocket there. And I haven't completed this page. You can see I haven't. It's just a pocket. And But I want to extend that out and tuck it in. There's an acceptance invite. Look how they used to make them. I just love them. So I've just put it there. So there's lots of things that need to still be done to this book. But not today. Um, not tomorrow, it's when I'm ready. You know what I mean? There's another one of those journaling cards that I love so much. Or tags. And that's the end of the chapter. I mean, signature. And there's that chunky monkey. Takes up too much room. Anyway, what I thought, I was thinking what we should make. And I'm just thinking we're going to make a tag. Just make a tag from that. I found my cutter. Ugh. I knew we'd be using a cutter, but I just didn't know um, what to make with this. Because, honestly, I don't like throwing much out, guys. Normally, if this was uh, thinner paper, I would probably not um, use this. I'd tear it, you know, because you can tear double layers of photocopy. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Computer paper. Ours is about, I think, 40 GSM. This is the one I'm using is a lot stronger, which is probably the best thing for a nice tag that I'd like to make. Um, a little bit crooked. And I'm just thinking, I want to make a tag around maybe, I don't know, maybe... 
maybe three and three quarters. Oh, might go at four, and I'm going to get rid of that side border. I, I really am. Take that away. And this is just quick and simple. I, I would use a sewing machine, but it's not connected here. Sorry, in this room. I've got it, but I haven't connected it. Oh, I don't really like that little bit of border. I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to get rid of it. So your tag should be, I reckon, this is crooked. I'm sure it is. Um, I'm going to cut that away. And I was going to look crooked anyway, no matter what I do. Doesn't matter. It'll be okay. See, I was fussing the process, guys. And what I'm always saying is don't fuss the process. Here's a... Um, oh, no, that's too little. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to do it this way. I'm just going to do it this way. Cut there. And roughly, I'd put that against there, but I'm not going to. It's a tag, guys. I'm not fussing it. To fuss things is to cause myself grief. And I don't wish to do that. Um, I've got tissue paper, guys. Love tissue. So I'm just going to... Tear some to that extent, and I'm going to scrunch it up. And I also want, so I won't be able to sew it, so it's not going to look perfect, but I'll post it up when I'm finished. I want some baggy, I love these bags, guys, I use them all the time. You know, you're noticing I'm using what I've got. And I found this beautiful photo. I was going to put it in this other journal some time ago, and I didn't get around to doing it. But it can be used. So I'm just thinking, like so. Because I want to create layers. And I'm not fussing it. I'm just tearing just be careful that you don't tear it all away. Um, some tissue. And normally what I do, I get my glue. This is really good. I love doing this project. I normally ink the photo, but I don't have to because it's got black on it. So I really glue, put a lot of glue down. And then you can use... Um, wax paper guys you don't have to um, use um, anything major you can make using these you can make a topper this is going to be a little bit chunky but I like chunky and just use your fingers it's easier with wax paper but I've only got the tissue here so tissue we stick with, but I like it. Because once you sew this, it's gonna look really cute. And see, see how it's taking shape, guys? So you can literally, I've got to move it up a bit more. So this is using tissue to your advantage. Because there's two tissues here, I'm going to have to because I wanted the white to be popping off. You know, and you need a couple of layers, I reckon, for this with, with tissue. And I like the white in tissue more than I do the wax paper for some reason. So I'm going to move that a little bit up. Okay. Now we're going to glue around this. Add layers. Like I said, I'm going to keep this simple, simple, simple. So I need a sewing machine. And you basically have created either a topper or a tag. I like these toppers on tags. I like them on journals. Um, then I like, I like, I like, I like. Just seeing I've got some laces or something. Um, 
And I'm thinking, no, I don't like that one. I don't like that one. When you don't like something, don't put it down, you know. And go by your gut. Your gut feeds what you do. I don't know. I've got this. This is an antique lace from a um a christening dress. No, it's not a petticoat. Sorry. And I'm I'm hoeing into it a little bit. I have got quite a bit of it, but it won't matter. It won't matter because I'm not stressing it out. Because if I stress it out, guys, I won't create. And see that fabric? We'll make use of that. And we're going to make use of this. I shouldn't have used this anyway because it's too good a lace. But when you're creating something pretty, you want it to stand out. And that's what I like to do. So, I'm just thinking, um, I want something to the top. And I haven't got a button out, have I? So, I'm thinking something like so. Because you're creating a topper. For your journal card, your tag, for your... Oh, so cute. It's simple. And it'll work. Um, and then you get a little bit of this and you want to get just behind here I like evening things out and I would go like so and then I might glue this down to that because that's where I want it. And after the video, I'm going to go around and sew this. Like I said, I'm keeping it simple. I've just basically shown you. I might do that there because I want it to stick right down for me. So before I upload the video, I'll make sure I show it and take a picture of this. This is fun, guys. It's a fun project. Like I said, um, you can button it. So you can basically cut that away and make it into a journal card. Um, might actually get some ink. Oh, more sticky. Oh, sticky. Um, we're going to create something up there too. Might hold it down actually, because I'm like I said, I haven't got the sewing machine, guys, and it makes it awkward when I can't sew because I can't pause the video. I don't know how to. Um, like I said, it's hard. Um, remember that scrap we used in one of the videos? I might put that there. I oh, just turned it up. Um, or maybe there. I don't know. We won't put it down yet. We won't put it down yet. Um, I'll see if there's something I can cut off from here. I don't know if this will work. Um, normally, I would go with the colour I've got. But because I haven't got that colour... There's not much I can do. So we go use what we got. And I'm tearing away quickly because, do you know what? I don't want to sweat the small stuff. I don't know if I want to use that piece or one of these. And these are dollies, guys. I um, tea dye them, coffee dye them. These are coffee. I think I prefer the tea staining, guys. Only reason why it's more antique this is more grungy and um, I am into grungy, but I like to use more grungy stuff when I'm doing it, if you know what I mean. So we might do something to fix that. That might be what I want. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that'll do. 
So we're going to glue it down like so. And I'm roughly estimating how much I need. And I want it a little bit up the top because it's a tag. And I'm thinking we put that there. No, I don't want that there. No, 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 no. I'm still going to put it here. So I want a button or something there or a pen. I don't know. I want something else there. So I should have stuck with the pen in first, genie, genie, genie. We are going to put something there. Once this is sewn, you're going to see something really delightful. Oh. Uh -huh. Actually, I don't want that stuck down yet because I want to sew a button in this too. Um, and I won't be able to do that on because I forgot to pick a button. Well, I didn't because I wasn't really sure what we're going to create. Um, anyway, doesn't matter. Does it matter? Does it look good? Uh, I'm going to fix that shortly. I've got to do something there. What am I going to do? I know what we're going to do. A ribbon. I don't want that one. I want a bit of colour. We've got some green. So, I normally with these, I just go like so. And do that. And get that part of it. And stick it down on that bit of glue I put down. I try and wrangle this like so. This is so pretty, guys. So pretty. And if you don't want that, I think I'm going to turn it around. Hang on, hang on, hang on. It just doesn't, things don't want to happen my way sometimes, you know, and it's my fault. I'm going to put a bit more glue than normal. That was better. I had it upside down. Oh. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Isn't she pretty? Now, like I said, I want to have that probably like so, but I don't want to stick it down because I want to do a button there. Um, unless I've got one here to show you. And then I can sew it in later, like so. Um, I need, I reckon, a number or something. I don't know if I've got a number. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Um, have I got a number here? This video is going a little bit longer than I wanted it to. But look, it's okay, guys. Who says we have to rush a project? Nobody. And that's what you remember. This is about self-care. You want to look after you. You know what I mean? And it means that you need to take as long as you like. Um, if you're entering the 100-day project or... Oh, I might do that. Um, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Here's a little, much little one here. Hang on a minute. Um, these are little Tim Holtz ones, these labels. There was some... I need something that's going to do it justice. Maybe that. Like so, or you can put it like so, and like so. There you go. A button there. I'm just, I'm one of those people that like to really, really push my luck with um, journals. Um, no. No, 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 no. I think that looks gorgeous, guys. With the little Tim Holtz in there, you can see them. The button will go on top. 
I can't sew it yet because I want to sew this around the sewing machine and show you how simple. I'll cut the ribbons later or I might do it now. I just think this is gorgeous. And here's a tag that we made in 25 minutes. I showed you the journal, of course. And I showed you how to top it up so that you can actually make this into a journal cover. You sew the button on. It fell somewhere down here. Here it is. And it's cute. Like I said, I will take take a photo of this and you can see how lovely it is thank you guys for joining me in the 100 day project um please continue to like comment on my work tell me what you think no it's just a bit of scraps put together with a beautiful picture that's what it is oh it's not all scraps some of it's good stuff but anyway, thanks, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.